Hi guys, welcome back to Jerusalem Playroom. My name is Jamika, and as you can see here in the screenshot, I have baby girl Jonah Lynn. She is wearing this outfit that I thrifted. Um, it is a size 12 months, and when I saw the shirt, I was going to get it and match it with some jeans, but then when I looked around, I saw the little pants that went with it. So I put this on her, didn't get a chance to put a hair bow in her head because she's actually just laying on one of my, uh, on my guest bed. So I just wanted to show you guys this outfit that I have for her and I have some other items too that I want to show you. So today I went to um, uh, one of my local thrift stores and I actually went to several. I was looking for some stuff for myself, which I did uh, purchase uh, for me. But I also was looking in the blanket section. So I did find two crochet blankets and one regular. So I'm going to show you the uh, regular first. This one here is just a little kind of lightweight fleece. Not even fleece, just a, a lightweight little white blanket that can be perfect um for the winter months or even the fall um this right here me personally you can probably put it over if your baby's going like into a movie theater somewhere where it's cold or like in the grocery store but just like out in the car where the weather's warm i wouldn't suggest something uh this thick for your baby but anyway um i got that then I got this one here. When I saw the little colors in it, all the colors, I was like, this is just perfect for a gender neutral um, theme or it can be, you know, gender neutral type of blanket and it has all the colors, the yellow, the blue, the green and the pink. I think it has, <coughs> excuse me, it has white in here also. So when I saw it, I immediately put this in my cart. And while I was there, um, I got to talking with another customer. And we were just talking about the creativity of these uh, people who make um, things like this. And I just told her, I really believe that they're heirlooms and they shouldn't be given away. But again, if you know, to give another baby a chance to enjoy something like this or another mother or father, I just think it's great. So I got that one. And then this one is kind of big. It's almost big enough to fit a toddler size bed. Or you can wrap it at the end of a twin bed. Or you can put it on a um, queen or king size bed. Um, I thought the colors in here was uh, really unique. Also, um, the pink, the green, the um, blue, and the yellow. So, um, again, this is a gender uh, neutral blanket in, in my opinion. And so I did wash them, and this time when I washed them, I put them on cold, and I uh, put them on a light, uh, kind of like fluff dry, because I had one, and I messed it up, and I was like, oh my goodness, but I got it back. Uh, I got, I was able to get the yarn to kind of shrink again, because I don't know what type of yarn is used for it, so I just put it on a cold wash and a light fluff on the dryer. Um, I didn't get that many outfits. I did see this one um, with the little ladybug pattern on there. And I thought it was really cute and unique. And I'm going to put baby girl um, Genova in this. Then I saw these outfits here. I saw um, two of these little short shirts in zero. No, it's uh, one to three months. But it's from Sheen. So I got both of these. One's green and one's navy blue. And then they came with the pants. The little shorts, I'm sorry. I don't know if they had a, a belt with them. I didn't see the belt, but I just went ahead and grabbed uh, both of these. And I thought they were really, really cute. So this can be cute for a little photo shoot or just, you know, something your little boy can wear going to uh, church or to take photos in. I um, saw this and I went ahead and got it because I wanted to do a little cute little um, theme basket for a little girl. So this, um, anytime I find some good looking mini stuff i get it so i got these to match up with these little um uh pants here so this would be something for the fall then i saw this guys and when i got it it was just worth it it still has the tag on there so anytime if i find the tag on an item i just immediately get it because um this is something that i can give as a uh, gift to someone um it'd be great for the fall or the one a month so this is something that i would consider if you do have a baby in the cold month, a little boy, um, he can come home wearing something like this. And then even if it's uh, gender neutral, uh, if if the mom, the parents, they want to keep their the sex of the baby a secret until the baby's born. And it's a girl, you can always add a, a blue uh, bow. You can add any color bow that go with that um, olive green. So I thought it was really cute. 
Um, and speaking of olive green, I saw this cute little Grogu Star Wars shirt. And I when I see them, I just get them. Um, because these right here, these sweatshirts you can put with jeans on there. This can be like something you can put in a diaper bag as an extra outfit. Um, a change of shirt, something like that. So when I see stuff like this, I just automatically get it. I did find these two little preemie size, are they preemie? Yeah, preemie size shirt. I just went ahead and got them because I like how I can do, I can twin my little boys up, especially with the baby born doll. So when I see stuff like this, I get it. Then I also looked up and I found this um, preemie outfit for uh, my smaller dolls. And again, I mentioned that I try to get preemie clothes because my baby alive dolls can wear outfits like this so when i see them I, I i automatically get them if i can find a set like this i, I immediately put it in my um uh, my cart then the last uh thing oh before i show you this i wanted to also show this little cute little item that i found um the aerial little outfit this would be perfect for the summertime it's hot out there with some little sandals on or if you want to put a shirt over this a little sweater whatever i just think this is so cute and I can't wait to put one of my uh, dolls into this outfit. So I wanted to show that. And then finally, the last thing that I find when I go in the shoe section, I look and these were, look at the bottom. They're brand new. And when I saw them, it made me think about those popsicles you get. They have the red, white, and blue on there. I don't know if they call them bum pops or whatever for the 4th of July or Memorial Day. So when I got, when I saw these shoes, I immediately put them in my cart. I just... I mean, brand spanking new, and, and usually I've been finding doing good finding shoes um, in there. My I asked my daughter, could my grandson wear them because they are size six, but she said no. So I was like, okay, well, they're just going to stay in the playroom. <laughs> All right, let me get, get baby girl journey, jo Jonah Lynn, I'm sorry. So guys, I appreciate you taking the time to watch. I know I haven't uploaded a video in a while. So much has been going on, but I just wanted to tell y'all to stay encouraged, um, you know, be blessed. Take care of yourself. Try to go out and do a walk. I, that's what I've been doing. I've been um, trying to walk my dog. I'm not going to, I'm going to be honest. I haven't been eating healthy, but I've been trying to walk and I got to cut back. I've been craving pips. It's like crazy. So I got to cut back on um, my caffeine um, intake and start drinking, you know, like water and come back on that caffeine and that sugar. Oh my goodness. That's my weakness. Caffeine and sugar, coffee and sugar. Oh, so Anyway, you take care of yourselves and guys, y'all stay tuned because you never know what's going to be in the playroom. All right, y'all take care. Bye. I think she looks so cute with this little outfit on. Say bye, bye. <laughs> bye, guys.